Um, speaking of recording digitally onto the computer, I don't know how many of you guys are here for the uh, for the Miko hack. Are Miko owners going to cry over this, I'm a, George? I'm a professional audio guy. I like what you're thinking. I ripped it apart. All of the audio work that I do uh, is pretty much fundamentally based on this lovely machine called a Miko. And uh, I ripped it apart. This Miko usually has a nice... Oops, upside down. It's got a nice touch screen here. It's got a nice touch pad here. Mouse, it's got funny uh, controls and faders, and it's got a, a keyboard here, you know, and it's got a, uh, another set of faders up here, and it's got a music keyboard down here on the bottom. Now, what I love about the Miko, there's a lot of things I love about it, but the main thing is it works. It's by Open Labs. Go to openlabs.com. I can do everything that I need to do on the Miko, and uh, as long as I remember my AC cable and my headphones, uh, then I'm fine. And, and I ripped it apart. I've got my screen here, my mouse pad here. So I'm, I'm mousing like this. Maybe I'm touching the screen. Yeah, hold it up like this for me, thing. And, and then I'm typing over here. And I'm working my mouse here, and I'm touch screening here. And maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm playing my keyboard down here, and it's all mixed up. It's flat like this so that you can play the, the keyboard on it or you can type. But now you can't see the screen. So you have to look like this. That stuff drove me nuts. And in order to solve it, I ripped it apart. And here's what I did. You don't even want to know what I did. Are Miko owners going to cry over this, George? Uh, I think that they're going to want to cut their Mikos up or get the new one, which I think solves these problems. Okay, come over here and work mm -hmm. this one. Okay, here's what we got. First thing I did was I cut this turkey in half. Okay, I ran a, a hacksaw right down the middle. Now, yeah, this is my one computer that's got everything. If this breaks, I'm out of work, and I can't afford a new one. But what the heck? I cut it down the middle, okay? So now I've got my touch screen over here. I've got uh, my keyboard over here. It makes sense. I can work mouse. I can touch screen, I can do mouse on one, keyboard on the other. Uh, I've got these controls, but of course, in doing the switch, I had to mount these upside down because all the connectors uh, are over here on the back of this, and the cables wouldn't reach. <laughs> I'm getting an OMG. Okay, now, let me show you some of the, advantage, the other advantages I've got. Check this out. All right, the, the screen. I used to have to have a huge tilted board to mount my Miko on. Now, I just pulled that up because I moved the jointed. This used to have a hinge on the back. I moved the hinge to the front. Okay? And I now, yeah, sure, I'm using cable ties to hold it on, but that's all right with me. <clears throat> so now I can read my screen. I've got my keyboard here. I can still use my external mouse if I want to, which I do. Uh, 